Hi there guys, it's Aaron here from Console Deals, back again with another on-camera video to cap off your week, where this time we will be discussing Little Nightmares 2, specifically the new demo that dropped uh, on the digital store this week on PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. Um, I thought I'd give you my early impressions before the game releases uh, at the end of February, so it's coming very soon. Now for those that don't know, Little Nightmares is a series from a studio known as Tarzir Studios. Um, and it's kind of this 2D dark platformer, side-scroller mashup thing, um, but it's highly influenced by obviously survival horror games and they like setting in a really creepy atmosphere. Um, but what I think, what I thought the first Little Nightmares did well was, you know, reigning uh, that sort of sense of explicit horror back, really making it about the puzzles as well as the platforming and just kind of shrouding it in this sort of eeriness um, and setting it against the backdrop of this sort of like bite-sized horror because while certain like elements of the game are definitely scary, um, I think it's not Resident Evil 7 levels of scary. It's not sort of like PT in your face, make your heart pump. Um, I'm not sure if Tarzir Studios would necessarily agree, but I think that you know purely by distancing yourself and uh, casting you as these little um, you know pint-sized characters, uh, it really isn't so scary to play through as some might think, especially if you're looking at the key art because. Ooh, some of it is uh, especially creepy looking. Um, so what did I think of the demo? Well, uh, it starts you off in two sections. Um, it forms the bulk of it. I assume this is at the start of the game. And uh, to my surprise, we're not playing as Six anymore. So, you know, people that have played the first game will recognize Six from her yellow coat. And uh, it might be public knowledge, but I wasn't aware of this. Uh, we're actually playing as a new character called um, Mono, I believe. Um, who's, who's a young boy who's still trying to escape you know these sort of like creepy sights that he that he comes across wears a paper bag on his head which isn't the most flattering but is kind of in keeping with the series nature to sort of like shroud their protagonists and keep them uh, you know hidden which I guess is good metaphorically to, to do with the tone so yeah I thought it was really good uh, in terms of you know what I played so far starts you off at least the beginning of the demo does uh, in this sort of like forest uh, creepy setting where you know you're getting used to the old habits of pushing stuff, working levers, crouching is needed and sort of just making your way across a 2D plane all whilst trying to solve these very light puzzles. And, and like I said I don't necessarily find these games scary but I think they're still effective at evoking an atmosphere and that's what really does it for me. I think it's really good from what I've played so far in terms of how they're handling these characters and sort of how they slowly are able to ease the tension you know that the music is doing a lot of that work the audio design i played with headphones which i think you have to kind of do with games like this if you really want to get immersed and stay in that sort of like creepy area and feel the shivers going down your spine then you can do that i know i said it's not that scary necessarily but there are definitely moments where you'll kind of like be, be jumped out of your seat and stuff so a good example of this are the traps which happen uh, early on in the beginning of the demo uh where it's designed in a way that you're intended to fail and usually i don't like this in games where it's like it's impossible to get through without failing first and you learn by failing but because little nightmares isn't necessarily about like score chasing or, you know it, it doesn't really sting as much so in instance i'm walking along uh this section of the forest and uh, i come across the bale of leaves and obviously you know it's been a while since i played the first game so i didn't quite know what to expect then all of a sudden i run into the bale of leaves oh look there's some sort of bear trap thing that's just going to swallow me whole and that's exactly what happened but what do you do next time you grab the stick hit the bear trap, set it off, then obviously that's uh, Tarzir Studio's way of teaching you how to solve a particular type of puzzle, which will crop up time and time again. Even in this demo, it crops up a fair few times. Um, so you eventually in this demo get to this house setting, and as I said, it's more reminiscent of what we know before. And um, I don't want to give too much away, because I think you should either wait for this uh, until you play the full release, like I said, it comes out uh, February, February 11th, um, or if you decide to play the demo for yourself, but uh, it's really interesting how they sort of integrate Six into the story. Because like I said, I wasn't um, expecting that. I, th like, I just assumed we were going to play a Six again from the first game. But um, there is a strong sense of companionship with this second game, is all I will say. But in Little Nightmares 2, the major difference is that it's, uh, it's totally single player. So whereas the first game mainly had you controlling Six, now you control Mono, but you've also got Six by your side and you kind of have this almost eco-inspired sort of setup where you can grab her hand, pull her along, you can lift each other up to grab, you know, far away objects and sort of like you have to think tactically. It's not just about you anymore. And there's a particular sequence towards the end where you're getting chased by this sort of like clay chef 
animal skinning creepy guy uh he's chasing you with a shotgun and uh six and mono are obviously running away which is, this is all fully in gameplay it's not uh pre-rendered or anything like that and uh, i actually lost at a certain point i was like which character am i uh, uh, uh boom dead and uh, I didn't stand a chance. Like I said, Little Nightmares is being made by a small team, but they've taken their time with it. It's been a fair old while since the first game. Uh, a couple of years, I want to say. Maybe at least two or three years. So they've really learned how to hone their craft and create these really detailed environments. Sort of set you in that immersion, as I mentioned earlier. Whilst also finding room to make innovations, like I said, with the, the companion sort of angle. I did come across one section early on in the demo where your objective is to sort of grab this key that's being hung up. So you can sort of escape the house area. And uh, it took me a couple of, t of attempts to sort of reach it because you kind of have to judge the correct uh, depth perception correctly. So I think it, it was like two or three times I jumped, fell off, and it was all quite involved. Uh, but eventually on that fourth time, grabbed the key and, and me and Six were off. So like I said, I'm definitely going to play this when it comes out in February. Hopefully we'll give the game a full review on the channel when it releases. As long as they can iron out, or maybe it's too late for that, sort of like avoid... Uh, those sort of depth issues because it's a, it's a 2d platformer but you can obviously use the foreground and background and you know you're required to when you have to like move boxes and stuff um but no overall thoughts are super positive and february is quite a quiet month other than a few other things this is kind of like the tentpole release uh for february and i wish tarzar studios and bandai namco well because they've got a good thing going on here so anyway guys, that just about does it for my first impressions of Little Nightmares 2. Have you played the demo? Do you intend to? If you have, let us know in the comment section below what you think of it and whether you intend to pick it up. Uh, but also, you know, go to consoledeals.com. We have the cheapest possible price for uh, Little Nightmares 2 listed. We compare prices across all retailers in the UK online. So yeah, there's really no excuse to get in on the creepy fun. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, but until then, have a good rest of your weekend and happy gaming.